This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, everybody! So, we are finally in the middle, part one of Turnabout of Right, Blaze, right. Where we, oh yeah, that's right. We were about to present Old Bag with her undershirt. Oh, I forgot about that! I was just you looking forget. at the dog like, this is gonna be cool. Oh yeah, and Missile's here. Hey, Missile. He was much bigger help than I thought he would be. Yes, however, there are a few aspects I don't understand about what he found. In that case, you should keep on investigating until you do understand. Now, my subordinate, continue with the investigation. Uh, Alright, I will. It is with great dread that I must proceed and do what I must to solve the case. I wonder if Francisco likes dogs. Like, outside of case yeah. stuff. You Missile, know what I mean? Because Missile seems very happy with her. That's true. Oh boy. Alright, old bang. Ladies undershirt. If you could please take a look at this brown colored undershirt. Oh, edgy poo, what is the meaning of this? Why did you steal that thing from my bags? All you had to do was ask, and I would have gladly given you as many as you'd like. Nah, thanks, but no thanks. This shirt was found here at this crime scene. What? Come now, why don't you just confess and explain what it's doing here? I know nothing! Nothing, I tell you! What? Oh, I admit I used the fireplace to dry that shirt. But I can't really help the fact that I had to, you know. Wearing that pink princess costume was like being in a sauna. And on top of that, I get figured as a suspect. You're too cruel, Edgy Poo. Are you claiming that you never once set foot inside this room? Of course I am. If I had been the one to find the body, do you think I'd be as calm and relaxed as I am? I tell you, it's always like this. It's my fault. What is that tabloid is missing? The camera's missing. The lawyer. Yeah, it's my fault. And by the way, when my husband, when we got married, he said, I'm sticking of married. I'm going to bronze. What kind is that? Well, I can't help you. Will you marry me? Honestly, Betsy stays. <laughs> That is definitely not all the text she said, but sorry. Well, I don't believe she's lying about her actions. So I can safely assume she really was drying her shirt by the fireplace on her break. And somehow the undershirt managed to move from the next room into this one. Did Larry steal it? Like a fishing pole? <laughs> was he like hanging out over her fireplace and it was like, Ooh! and then like put it down the other one and then it caught on fire and then caused the rest of the. I, I am like 95% sure that Larry is the reason this building caught on fire. <laughs> like, I am so sure about I mean, that. that's a pretty good thing to suspect because we all know what Larry's like. <laughs> I assume the samurai dog was also yours. Ah, oh, that brilliant mind of yours. You really can't see through everything about me. Actually, do you want to try doing the old bag voice? Because, Why? Just because, A, it kind of hurts my voice. B, I'm sure everyone hates me in my old bag voice. I mean, no one said anything so far during our uploads. That's true. <laughs> I just feel like if I do it, I'm going to sound terrible. Can you really sound worse than me, though? I just want to see you try it. Okay, eventually. okay. And so the feeling of dread continues, but I suppose I should ask for more details, because I don't think you've ever even tried. I've tried. I've taken over for you, like, once. Because oh. you were, like, having a day. That's true. That samurai dog was yours, wasn't it? Yes, you can try. Oh, of course I'm yours forever, my edgy wedgy poo. If you could just stick to what I asked you. Edgy, are you in this old bag? No! <laughs> you really don't change, do you? When will you learn how to take a joke? Anyway, that samurai dog wasn't mine. Those things are a present from the studio to the embassy. A present. The studio bigwigs basically told us to play delivery boys. We were supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them all into the push cart just to move them all. Those studio guys should have delivered those things by themselves, right, Edgy? So did you deliver the samurai dogs to the embassy staff as per your instructions? Hey, Edgy, did you just ignore me in my question? Are you going to stick up for me? Ah, uh, about that. See, after the show, I wanted to rest a spell in my dressing room. Because of my bad hip, you know. And there they were, and the samurai dogs were just sitting on the dressing room floor. I suppose you had to make preparations for distributing them after the show. Well, if by preparation you mean sampling them as well. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I tried one and thought they were actually quite good. Sorry, but I just had to find out. I know it was silly of me to think this, but... 
I figured since they were for a kid's show, their taste was probably for kids too. But they were so good that I couldn't stop. It turned into one of those, like, uh, <laughs> like Nathan's original hot dog eating contests. What? What yeah, is have that? You heard, have you heard of Nathan's? No! Ones? There's one in the Orlando airport that we, we walk past. It always smells really good, like crinkle oh. cut fries. They serve hot dogs and they have hot dog eating oh. contests. Yeah, I'm not those the biggest fan of hot dogs. Yeah. Uh, I didn't read that, but it's fine. I thought you already did. No. Sorry. As I, I sat there by the roaring fire, warming them and eating them, I thought, ah, this is... <laughs> She ate, like, half a dozen of them, apparently. <laughs> hmm. What is it now? Oh, I know! I bet you wanted a box, too, don't you, Wedgie Poo? Well, who am I to say no to you? But I'll only give you one. The rest are all for me. <laughs> Samurai Dog's forced on me. What's kind of interesting is Old Bag is one of the least cooperative people for Phoenix Wright, but she's so cooperative for Edgeworth. <laughs> to a... To Just a sad degree. To a disturbing degree, yeah. Looks like the lesson for today is that when the Steel Samurai and the Pink Princess take off their masks and transform into a pair of annoying troublemakers. I think I forgot the they, and so that wasn't a complete sentence. Yeah. Logic. We've smoked from the chimney, smoke was pouring out of we the chimney. We smoked from the chimney. <laughs> we smoked in the chimney. <laughs> I mean, it'll go out the top. At the but... time of the crime, Mrs. Oldbag was warring her hip in the room next door. The yeah. other shirt was found in the office fireplace. How did he get here? Okay, well. I guess, yep. Those two are obviously connected. <laughs> I imagine Edrup has a finger on each end of his, like, I don't think on so. each of his temples. Just like, ooh, <laughs> thank you really hard. No. That's what it would be like in the anime. That you would be like No, it would <laughs> Well, maybe. The anime, when I've watched it, it's been pretty... Isn't that like when they do objections, it's like a physical wind? Physical wind goes flying in. <laughs> or my favorite, there's happened. like a part where like April May starts screaming and then like Phoenix is plugging his ears and like fighting the wind to not fall backwards. Okay. It's pretty weird. I don't know. There's no trace of this room's fireplace being used. And your point is? Ahem. <laughs> Smoke was supposedly pouring out of this chimney connected to this fireplace. At least according to Larry. This is a contradiction of facts, is it not? Are you sure he wasn't just disoriented or something up on that roof? There is testimony from an investigator that puts Larry at this particular chimney. So no, I don't think it was a mistaken impression on Larry's part. On the other hand, the fireplace in the next room was being used at the time. Where do you suppose the smoke from that fireplace went? Ah, I see. So what you're proposing is this. The smoke that came out of the chimney was actually from Mr. Oldbag- or Mrs. Oldbag's <laughs> fire. Mr. Oldbag probably divorced her a while ago. That's Victor Kuno, probably. Or no, is she a widow? I don't know. It's never really revealed. It's not really revealed. Well, I mean, she got married. <laughs> considering she's in enough games, you'd think they'd tell it or something. So basically, the fireplaces of the neighboring rooms share one chimney. Is that what you're implying? What? How does that work? Like- there's like, like one chimney on one side, one chimney on the other side of the wall, and then they both have So like one. a bracketeering, like, okay, Pikachu versus Kirby, whoop, and then they beat each other up until the person comes at the top. Like for um, Smash. Sure. When you've got the little tournament thing. That's what I'm picturing, because that's like yeah, a kind square. Of. Precisely, Edgeworth agrees. <laughs> I mean, probably those two go together. The lady's undershirt that Missile found. Arr! Why are you getting all excited over holding a lady's undergarment? Miles Edgeworth, you uncouth sea slug! Uncouth. Uncouth? I have jet lag. If you know the owner of said undershirt, then hurry up and return it to her already. You have it all wrong! This is evidence! And the owner of this piece of evidence was in the room next door. And yet, despite that, Missile found it in the fireplace of this room. This... Ladies undershirt. Are you seriously claiming that it's somehow passed through solid brick walls? At least it's not panties again. Yeah, it's been a lot better. Not quite. The fireplace in this room is connected to a chimney. The other fireplace in the other room is also connected to the same chimney. Leading us to the possibility that the two fireplaces are connected to each other. Perhaps a closer look at the back of the fireplace is in order. <laughs> the baby birds are still there. There's an X on the back of the wall of the fireplace. Let's see if I can't get a better look at it. Goes in the fireplace. What in the- The wall separating this room's fireplace from the next room's fireplace. Wait, it's just like Aurora in Sleeping Beauty when she's like, Aurora! Not her, but um, 
Maleficent, and then she like takes her into the fireplace, and there's a secret passageway. That's exactly what it is. <gasps> it apparently exactly turns. That. As I suspected, the fireplace does indeed connect this room to the neighboring room. The neighboring room? There appears to be nothing particular about the next room. But the fact that there is nothing special about the next room isn't what's important. Can you travel between fireplaces? Yeah. It's the fact that there is a secret passageway through this room's fireplace. Well then. We now know that the fireplace connects the two rooms. But how exactly is that significant? You aren't going to suddenly name the old lady as Damask Ibtu's killer now, are you? No, she couldn't move at all because of her stiff hip. So she could not have been the one. Unfortunately, I believe that this fireplace has nothing whatsoever to do with Mask Damask II's murder. But if it's the same as the other side, and there is a fireplace on the other side, mm -hmm. that's going to be a huge determining factor. It would appear that the answer has made itself known. You're making quite a confident face there, Mr. Prosecutor. Bring it on. I'm ready to counter any argument you may have. <sighs> Very well, then. If you are prepared. Francisco's so tired. I'll show you exactly where my deductions have led me. Good! I'm counting on you, Edgy! Leave it to me, Larry. My first attack will be to expose your lie for what it really is. M my lie! I know that there is still something you are keeping from the rest of us. W what's wrong with you? Why won't you believe me no matter what I say, Edgy? Curse you! I should just hurry up and die already if that's how it's gonna be! Yeah. I'll confess to every murder in the whole world and then kill myself! And throw everything into mass confusion! <laughs> You made some wonderful friends as a child, I see. <laughs> Larry, I only have one thing to say to you. Even if you make that face at me, it's no use. A man who's ready to die is strong, will you know? Larry, it doesn't matter what sort of harebrained trouble you've caused. I only ask that you do not lie to me. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some insipid lie, I will never forgive you. <laughs> Edgy? Although, allow me to say that I consider you to be among the innocent in this case. And that I will draw the real killer out. You can trust me on this. Alright, I, I, this time, this time I'll tell you the whole truth, okay? What happened, what didn't happen, the works. Just what happened will do. Now then, if you would please testify as to what you did on the roof tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Up on the housetop, up on the housetop. Oh, yeah. After the show, I left the push cart in the rose garden and came into the embassy. Where's the rose garden? Didn't you ever see Alice in Wonderland? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the rose garden. Is that in it's... the in this embassy? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Then they took a picture of me shaking hands with the ambassador. Yeah, Ugwe. Ugwe. After that, and until my next appearance, I had some free time, so I wandered around. That's when I spotted the chimney. A chimney with that is a rare thing, you know? So then I wanted to play Santa and decided to give it a try. So you climbed up the chimney? Larry, I thought I'd just telling you not to lie anymore. Um, but it's kind of ultra embarrassing. And what exactly is so ultra embarrassing that you can't tell me? Edgy man, I just said it was embarrassing, so of course I can't just blurt it out. So you're just going to have to reason it out. As your superior, I command you to hurry up and expose this man's lie. I have every intention to, for I'm not about to let us waste time on such a trifling matter. Edgar just picks up the crossbow. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me what you know. <laughs> you left the push cart in the rose garden, alright. You left the push cart. Could you please clarify that statement for me? Yeah, so the wheels on the push cart got covered in dirt from the rose garden. It would have made a mess of the four inside, so Ambassador Alba just said to leave it. Oof. Well, it would be rather impolite to dirty another country's embassy. Uh, come to think of it, I recall seeing my, the pr princess on my way to the embassy. And what was she doing? Nothing in particular, because she was being carried by some docks on a stretcher. She must have been incapacitated by the pain of her bad hip that she suffered during the show. Yeah, I heard that girl's a hip crack, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> His sight was always looking out for the town. That was know? the only other time that I've had the fast talk from other characters other than like old bag it was like those two girls at the beginning were like yeah. blah, 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 blah. try to like do the girls. frow Albuquerque. yeah and so i came into the embassy right and then then they took a picture of me shaking hands with ambassador alba is he in the order of the events rog i don't me eh, because i, I don't thought so. i don't remember when he took 
the picture of the ambassador. It hasn't even been that long. No, Literally. it really hasn't. Uh, where's the photo? The yeah, photo. here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, right, the statue was different. Yeah. So... The um, statue got moved. Right. I think he... <laughs> the letter from a stalker. <laughs> Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above to All right, that's this. right. That's definitely Tanette. <laughs> I think it's a Tanette. So you shook hands with the ambassador of the kingdom of Alabas, did you? He also graduated from junior high, so yeah. you know it's a real lover. <laughs> yeah! Can you believe it? I did something really cool for a change. But honestly speaking, there's nothing interesting about shaking some guy's hand. Hey there, are you disrespecting another country in their very own embassy? As someone with roots in this country, I'm feeling nothing but incredible shame at this second. Agreed. I apologize for his inconsiderate words. Now, Larry, please continue. W what is with all of you? You keep saying that kind of thing, and I'll tell you all the lies. You're already telling us nothing but lies, so let it go and move on. <laughs> all right already. You don't have to glare at me like that, Angie. After that, until my next appearance, I had some free time, so I wandered around. Larry, I want you to listen very carefully and take this to heart. The whole point of your life is to cause misery and pain to everyone you encounter. Wow! Whoa, what a sure. savage. There's, there's uh, good things I Larry's know, done. I know! I get it! I'm totally the bad guy again! There's great things that Larry's done. He means well, a lot to people. Larry, uh, he stopped Von Karma from getting the guilty verdict for On Edge with that trial where he broke it. It was great! I've got to testify! Yeah. And, um... That's about it. <laughs> um, no, the the gal that I mean, the gal that mur was murdered in the first trial ever. I mean, she Cindy clearly Stone. she clearly cared about him. He's like a nice, good person. That's true. She kept his like clock. thinker statue clock, and that's like the reason that that <laughs> whole thing went okay. <laughs> Both thinker clocks are in police custody now. <laughs> Sorry. I I know thought you're his friend. Don't you think that was a bit harsh? Lane Z says true friends are bosom friends. If you're in trouble, call on your bosom friend, whose shoulder you can truly cry on. Hey, bosom buddy! I hope you're listening carefully to my testimony. Has it crossed your pea-sized brain yet that Agent Lane is only out to arrest you, Larry? <laughs> now then, you were wandering around inside the embassy, and then what happened? That's when I spotted the chimney. A chimney like that is a rare thing, you know. I should hardly think that chimneys are that rare. Agreed. Especially since they are a traditional feature of American houses. And British houses. And maybe German houses. Plus, many grand buildings have even larger and fancier chimneys. It's not like a closet, though, where it's like walk-in closets. Like, walk not like chimney. a walk-in chimney. Yeah. Nobody really does that. Yeah, but the kind of chimney I'm talking about is the really romantic type. A romantic chimney? The descend upon. It might kind of sound kind of silly, um, but women seem to really enjoy them. Um... And I just had a good feeling about that chimney. Okay. Then I wanted to play Santa and decided to give it a try. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. You suddenly wanted to play Santa. Oh, well, actually, I dressed up as Santa once before already. Right. That's I know. true. And you did. <laughs> all those samurai dogs, they all come full circle. <laughs> and Missile ate them all last time as well. I wonder if he remembers Missile. That was down at Gordon Lake. Not necessarily, because it's not even... It's possible to never even show him this all. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't dredge up such unnecessary memories for me. Yeah, he was the defendant there. Right? <laughs> Sounds like you guys share a lot of history. A perk of being childhood friends, huh? This would be so confusing if this was your first game. Yeah. Besides, it's not a felony to dress up and play Santa, you know. Uh. Santa doesn't go around killing people after he comes down a family's chimney after all. The, no, that's cr uh, Krampus, right? No, no, that's not Krampus. Krampus, Krampus is... throws them in the sack and forces them to work for him, right? No, Krampus... No, we, we talked about this. Krampus, like, teenagers would dress up as Krampus and would, like, No, basically... the actual Krampus Oh, legend. I have no idea. Yeah, I think I he, know. like, throws people in his watch... sack and forces people to look at him. I don't like, watch horror him. films. It's an actual myth. That's also a horror film. That was made into a horror film, and yeah, I don't think yeah. they took the original idea for that. I don't know. Krampus. Actually, it is. Is it worth delving into whether or not playing Santa is a big deal? Uh, yeah. Actually, I believe in the case of this man, playing Santa is actually quite a big deal. Are you saying that your buddy isn't exactly made of Santa quality stuff? Precisely. You hit the nail on the head, Agent Lane. Hey, Angie! That's so incredibly mean! 
Tell me something, Larry. Did you know that Santa's job is to deliver presents to people all over the world? Of course I know that! I did graduate from junior high, you know! In that case, it's your turn to tell me something. I want you to tell me to whom you were delivering a present to. Um... I was, uh... Delivering a present to a child not basking in the goal of love? <laughs> that must be the most elegant description of you I've ever heard, but a lie is still a lie. You, you sure don't want to cook a guy when he's down, you know that? In any case, the person you wished to deliver a present to onto was most certainly this. I mean, it was probably... It was Molisto Mew. Bag. Not Molisto Mew. <laughs> Many <laughs> coach He's me. dead! <laughs> <laughs> he should be in that game we were playing earlier. <laughs> in the Mafia game. In the Mafia game. He could be in the Mafia game. He could be in the Mafia game. Goliath's <laughs> Polaris? Uh, Are you a guy on He's like the guy? biggest spray tan. She only. I don't Quer trust. Quercus Alba. What kind of a name is Quercus? I don't trust me um, people, and especially men, who go to the tanning salon more than like <laughs> once a year. He has like the same, almost the same skin tone as Zinio. He's like the same skin tone as a pyramid. <laughs> a pyramid. Put, put, just put that in mind. Kashinu. Is that a pun? Kashinu. Um. Kashinu. Kashi no, uh, Kashino. Kashino. Casino. Yep, that's Kashino. it. Casino. That's it. <laughs> wow. Pretty much every character's name is a pun in some way. Ex security lady. I don't know her age. It's definitely her. I mean, there's no. <laughs> Not though, but you want to oh, give yeah. it to Ambassador Alba. That's right. It was this person. <laughs> Edgy. Looks like you can say totally irrelevant things too, just like me! I refuse to be lectured by a man who bumbles through life like a pitch drunk monkey! <laughs> a punch drunk monkey. I thought it was pitch drunk. No. Punch. Punch drunk? You can Punch be... drunk. Punch drunk! Like... You know when like people are drunk and they're like, Ugh, how you doing? They're like punching people. Yeah, they're like punching people. Oh, that's where it comes from. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I fought wrong. I need to think calmly and rationally. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting taste you have there, Mr. Suspect. D d don't spread lies about me! I totally didn't want to see Miss Old Bag so much I'd go down a chimney! <laughs> oh! I advise you to stop right there in the bashing of a lady. Well, I must admit that I myself hardly ever have the want to run into that lady. However, what if you were misinformed and under the wrong impression? Then what? Define wrong impression. I simply mean that the man before you fought to enter the old lady's room without knowing one very important fact. Who she was. And that fact is best summed up with this. My prosecutor's badge. Larry, I'd like for you to take a look at this piece of evidence. It's my prosecutor's badge. No way! But I really want you to see it. It's not really all that important, is it? <laughs> it's always like this. You're acting so high and mighty that you bully me. That's why I refuse to look at it. Be quiet and just take a look. Well, if you say so, Franzi, but only because you say so. I like how he says Franzi. Some people never change, even if their attitudes do change at the whim of women. So what's up with that anyway? <laughs> why, it's proof that you never even knew existed. It's proof you never even knew existed, of course. Oh, was that all? Well, I don't need it right now, so I'll just give it back to you. What? <laughs> I've got you on the ropes now, don't I? Was that piece of evidence unrelated to the question at hand? Yes, Andrew, it was. Well, I mean, here's the problem. That letter, Descend From Above, is to Wendy. Was the name of the other girl Wendy? It was Mindy. Mindy. Turn, <laughs> turn it upside down. Wait. Uh, nope, that's not gonna look right. So I was like, well, oh, Wendy. <laughs> Tinette. <laughs> Tinette. I mean, that totally Tinette. looks like... Do you think it's that though? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Samurai dog. Ugh. Ugh. No. It's the fact that she had to be the replacement, but how do we prove that? I don't think we have any proof for that. What? Oh, but that's the stand-in request. Stand-in request? Yeah. Take that. That's it. There we go. Sorry. This is something the old lady received from her employer for the night. The girl who normally plays the pink princess. Mindy, was it again? It seems that this man is quite taken with that actress. 
But that's not true, Edgy. She's the one that has the hots for me. I just know it. I can feel her sexy beam piercing my heart when she's watching me. Sexy beam, I saw you. You filthy, despicable, inconsiderate, fickle, idiotic, and cowardly apparition of a man. You haven't matured at all since we last met. Hey, Mr. Bruskier, well, you last met only a few months ago. True. Yes. This guy, he's got bigger problems than just getting involved in murders, I take it. I suppose you could put it that way. Hey! What the heck, man? I don't get you guys at all! Why do you have to make me out to be some sort of bad guy? Because you're in every single murder game in existence. <laughs> he wasn't in Justice for All. I thought he was. No, he's not in Justice for All. He's also not in Apollo. Oh, well, that's fine if he's he was, not in He Apollo. was in Trials and Tribulations twice, I mean, though. Phoenix Wright has had, like, some problems in uh, Apollo Justice, so he doesn't need to show yeah. up again. But I thought he was in Justice for All. No. Which case? He's okay. Wait. So in the first game, he's obviously there for he's the there samurai. For the first case, and he's there for the Gordon White case. Right. So he's there as that. Then he's the artist, he's and the artist also and the security, security guy. Those are both in the third game. In that one. But the second game, I thought he showed up. He's not in the first case with uh, yeah. He's not Mr. in that Wellington. one. He's, he's not in the Curry Village. He's not in the Big Top, and he's not in the Nickel Samurai case. He's in the Nickel Samurai case for the anime effort. Yeah, he is. That's what's tripping me up, because mm -hmm. I started watching the anime up till that point. Yeah. To return to the original topic, I propose at least this much has been made clear. Without any knowledge that Miss Mindy had fallen ill, Larry tried to make his way into the Pink Princess's room. That much we know for sure. Alabastian and the ball. I need to remember that. Hey, Edgy! Looks like I've got the hate of this court fiend now. But we're not in court at the moment. SHUT UP! I see what's going on here and it looks just like what you do in court. I guess the old boy here still has something he'd like to say. Wayne Z says, until the root of the tongue dries, one never knows the whole truth. You shouldn't form conclusions until everything is out in the open, which is why I'll listen. You're the guy who's like, we're arresting Mike Meekins immediately without even examining uh -huh. anything. <laughs> also, Wayne Z literally looks like he should be in... Either like Shin Megami Tensei or um, Fire Emblem. He's not Lane Z. Lane Z is like his ancestor. Lane. He's Shi Long Lane. Shi Long Lane. It's the same thing. Shi Long Lane and Sheena. Sheena. Alright, then time to get ready to listen to me defeat Edgy in a battle of wits. Larry, have you forgotten that should I lose, your victory prize will be your arrest? <laughs> Wait, he looks like a monkey. So you think that all I wanted to do was go visit Mindy? Uh-huh. Well, I dressed up as Santa and climbed up the chimney, but the smoke was really thick. It was a case of mistaken identity, and that mistake made me late for the speech. Then on top of it all, I became a suspect in a murder. That's what you really meant. But why would I ever put myself for so much humiliation on purpose? I'm gonna descend on you from above. Well, the thing that- Hey! Someone say something! <laughs> Maybe, like- the weird dude who was Damask 2 was like a Casino. strange fan of Wendy Oldbag and was like, ho ho, <laughs> I will descend on your room. And then he didn't realize that the fireplace the could like switch spots. But he had the plans where it's like, steal the Primido statue from oh, Alabas. Oh, I don't know. Then who would write a weird message to Oldbag? Unless if it's like, oh, I don't know. Molesto the Mew. <laughs> uh, no, the ambassador. Ambassador Albert, I'll, I'll they're be descending old. on you from above. They're both old. They could fall Master off. Master would never do that. Yeah, he would not. Larry, are you seriously trying to submit this not as a confession, but as testimony? So what if I am? Is there something wrong with that? My claim is a claim, claim and my claim. Do you have a problem with that? So it was you. You were my stalker. But I should warn you, it doesn't matter what kind of flattery you throw at me. I'm the devoted type of woman who's wholly focused on one man. As long as it's Edgy Poo's alive, I can't just drop him and be unfaithful. No, I can't. Although earlier, I was tempted just by the winning pull. Why would my dad? dad? And I, I was saying to completion of Edgy Poo for all eternity. I ran out of breath. I'm so inspired. I ran out of breath. She was tempted by Lane, apparently. <laughs> He's the wolf man. I'm so inspired. You're such an inconsiderate, cowardly, idiotic, and all-around completely worthless man. I thought I heard something ominous just now, but perhaps it was my imagination. No, you heard that right, Edge. <laughs> Old Bag kind of has the hots for Wayne as well. I was going to say that. He has the hots. I believe there's nothing further for me to prove at this point. What do you mean? 
Dean, of course you still got something to prove. You still have to show some proof that I was trying to meet up with Mindy. Proof, you say? Also, why did he write a letter to Wendy? Remember, Angie, every few didn't have evidence in court, right? You want to take another look at the letter? Wendy? Wendy! Is it like the worst spelling of Mindy imaginable? <laughs> could like, that be spelled Mindy? I mean, the E could look like an I because there's the dot. And then the W is like upside down because he's crazy. If, so you think he actually was trying to write Mindy? And then he's the just like, whoops! <laughs> no, but the pen slipped upside down! <laughs> No, he I just think... like added an extra M girl or something. No, I think it was either that or wait, pull it back up again. Actually, second idea. It was Casino who wrote it. Cursive. Maybe. It's not cursive. No. Why is that connected? Because he's got sloppy handwriting. It's like Vindy. I'll be descending on you from above to net. <laughs> that could Loving be an I. Knit. If if that, if that is an I though for tonight, then that would make that one an I. Also, as well. he wrote e, an E for love, and it was like, oh crap, that needs to be. He's an actually I. writing it to Windy Windclopple. Oh my gosh, Windy. Okay, well that's fine. You mean evidence is everything in court, Larry? But I understand your point. <laughs> everything is evidence in court. <laughs> yeah. This, this flower's evidence. <laughs> my shirt's evidence. Yeah. See, I'm totally a pro at this now. Very well, if you wish to see the evidence, then let me show you the last piece of evidence you'll ever wish to see. My crossbow. <laughs> Larry's assertion. <laughs> you think all I want to do is visit Mindy? Yeah. Well, I have been saying that for a while now. After all, if not for that, then what other reason did you wish to go down the chimney? You can't say that without any evidence! That's against the rules, Edgy! <laughs> Thanks for keeping the prosecutor in line for me, Mr. Suspect. Hmm, <laughs> I have the evidence. And if you wish to see it that badly, I can introduce you to. Ah, uh, but it's not good to keep them waiting, my subordinate. Hurry and show them already. L lies! All lies, Angie! Well, if you wish to lie, then by all means continue. Because I'm ready to expose your lie at a moment's notice. Ah, you won't get the better of me! Now let's see. Well, I dressed up as Santa and we climbed the chimney. Wait, he actually dressed up as Santa? <laughs> he has the Santa costume? But in the photo that he that saw that it was up above the on the building, I can't even tell. Yeah. He wasn't wearing a Santa no, he costume. Wasn't. He had the spiky hair still. Santa doesn't have spiky hair unless he's in Kingdom Hearts. Was the smoke coming from the chimney really that thick? You bet! It was so thick I had tears pouring out of my eyes. It was a mess that we were actually just throwing tear gas above it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You do realize that you've just confirmed for us your chimney escapade. What? That's totally unfair! You tricked me, Edgy! Hardly. You simply have yet to master how to counter this cross-examination technique. Well, what I just said was a slip of the- No, I mean, I said the wrong thing! Besides, isn't this what you really meant to say when <laughs> about what I did today? It was a case of mistaken identity. That mistake made me late for the speech. I'm not quite sure how you can mistake that actress for this lady. Ooh, Edgy Poo, are you staring at me? Ah, are you finally succumbing to my feminine charms? Uh, I should think that the Steel Samurai is the one who should know all about your charms. What? Me? Edgy, what are you trying to do to me? Nothing. Simply that the Steel Samurai and the Pink Princess are husband and wife. Ah, oh, is my poor little Edgy Poo jealous? Ugh! If you could please drop that line of discussion right this instant. But Edgy, I, I told you, I already have Mindy. Speaking of Mindy, exactly what kind of woman would you say she is? Just like, um... Benefer. No, not, not Benefer? Who's Benefer? One of his ex-girlfriends. No, I'm talking about, um... Or who is it this time? You go, girlfriend. Oh, uh, Keyonce. Keyonce? Is it like Keyonce? <laughs> Edgy, are you seriously telling me you don't know who the Mindy is? Is this like the Mindy Project? <laughs> That's who she that is. Mindy. <laughs> There's no way Larry could end up with that Mindy. I don't yeah, know. the girl who's disgusted and inside out. And don't Kelly know. on The Office. Oh, I don't know that. She's just like what her name means. She's super sweet with a great smile. Good thing she doesn't come up in the list of the most annoying girl's names. <laughs> Karen. Karen. Sorry, Karen. Sorry, Karen. I don't mean to brag, but she's one of the troop's fastest rising stars. Interesting. 
She sounds nice. Ha! So you're saying a woman like that is what made you late to the speech? Huh? C curse you too! Why is everyone out to make a suspect out of me? Look, all I can say is this. I was late to the speech. Then to top it all off, I became a suspect in a murder. That's what you really meant. I suppose you might be correct in a small way. W what do you mean by that? Besides being a suspect in the murder, there are a few other things you are a suspect of. What? Not you too, Franzi. You tried to stalk me, but I won't let you intimidate me like that. <clears throat> That's such a weird, creepy sprite of all that. <laughs> yeah. Look, I already told you, Ms. Oldback, I wasn't after you. I was trying to see Mindy. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, can I just arrest this guy already? <laughs> I completely understand how you feel, Agent Lane. Wait, please, listen to what I have to say. If you have a serious assertion to make, then I'd consider listening, however. No problem, I'm gonna put all I've got into this, so listen good, okay? My favorite part is Larry is probably better off than Gumshoe will ever be. <laughs> financially and, like, generally throughout life. That's sad, yeah. It's sad. Larry, is this the final point you wish to make? You got it! I've called out all the energy I have and told it to you with all my soul! In that case, allow me to take that soul and break it. Huh? Yes, we'll stamp it under our feet until it's ground into a fine powder. A, a fine powder? Ugh. <laughs> she has the mask on now, that's creepy. Yeah. If you really put all your soul into that, then you're ready for what's coming, right? In place of the Honorable Larry, I offer my soul to you. Larry, come out from behind there and face this like a man. You're scary, my liege! <laughs> this whole testimony is one giant confession of all that he's done tonight. He's practically begging me to show why he bothered to put himself through all this. So he's like carrying the mask and then he just drops it on the ground. The so next you sprite. think it is this? Yeah. You are correct. He just has bad handwriting. Larry, don't even think about denying that you have knowledge of this letter. <laughs> hey! Why are you showing that feed to me? Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight. Oh, wait, not Wendy. 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 Wendy! Your loving knight. Well, isn't that just romantic? But you weren't able to descend on her from above, were you, Mr. Loving Knight? Ah! I have no idea what you're talking about! I don't remember a thing! You can pretend to be ignorant all you'd like, but it's written right here. This letter proves that you were not out to meet the old lady, but rather that you were attempting to pay Miss Mindy a visit. What part of this letter shows that the person Larry had intended to meet was Mindy? All of the eyes. Larry, I suggest you take up penmanship lessons. That is, if you never wish to experience this level of embarrassment ever again. W what the heck? What are you talking about? Speak English! You wrote Mindy so sloppily that it became Wendy to the average eye. I wonder how they did that in the Japanese version. You could do that with mm, Kaji? Wait, wait, so... What is Miss Oldbag's Japanese name? I don't know. 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 I don't